Hello friends, welcome back to Be Pharma Wise. If you are new here, let me introduce myself. My name is Supriya and I work as an assistant professor at a pharmacy college in Western Maharashtra. And I started this channel with the intention to share with the students the knowledge regarding various subjects of pharmacy like medicinal chemistry, biochemistry, organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry and pharmaceutical analysis etc. So I keep on discussing various topics related to pharmacy on this channel. So if you are new here please consider subscribing and please share these videos with all your friends so that they can also be benefited. So if you are following me then uh, in the last video I have talked about the titration of strong acid versus strong base. Then in this video I am going to talk about the details of titration of a weak acid versus strong base in aqueous acid based titration and I am also going to discuss the neutralization curve for the same. So let's start. Here I am taking the example of acetic acid versus NaOH titration. So in the conical flask I will take 100 ml 0.1 normal acetic acid and in the puree I will take 0.1 normal NaOH. So as you know acetic acid is a weak acid and NaOH is a strong base. So this titration is weak acid versus strong base kind of titration. Now we will also plot the neutralization curve for this titration. And as you know, neutralization curve is plotted by taking pH values on y-axis and volume of titrant added on the x-axis. So let's start with the discussion. First, we will start with the calculation of pH before the titration begins. Now, in the conical flask, there is 100 ml of 0.1 normal acetic acid. Acetic acid, as you know, is a weak acid, CH3COOH. It partially dissociates to give CH3COO minus means acetate ions and H plus ions means protons. Now as this is a weak acid, it completely doesn't dissociate like HCl. So here we can't use the formula which we had used for calculating concentration of H plus ions in strong acid strong base titration. So how we will calculate the concentration of H plus ions for a weak acid? Here comes the equation under root KAC. So as you know it is a weak acid, it will have a dissociation constant which is known as Ka. The Ka for acetic acid is 1.86 into 10 raised to minus 5. This is the value of Ka. So we are knowing the value of Ka, we know the concentration of acetic acid which is 0.1 normal. So we can easily calculate the H plus ion concentration. But before going to calculate the H plus ion concentration, I will convert the formula to calculate its pH. So I will take negative log of each of the term. So I will take negative log of H plus is equal to. Now whenever there is under root sign, then um, uh, we have to use one half whenever we are converting into log function. So what I will do? Minus half log Ka minus half log C. So now minus log of H plus is nothing but pH is you know is equal to minus log of Ka is nothing but pKa. This half will remain as it is and minus half log C. I will keep it as it is. Now as we know we have to calculate the pH before the titration begins. So we will need pKa value. So here I have calculated it. pKa is negative log of Ka. So Ka value is 1.86 into 10 raised to minus 5. So we have to take negative log of 1.86 into 10 raised to minus 5. So when we convert it, it becomes minus 5 minus log 10 minus log of 1.86 means we have taken negative log of each term and then minus minus becomes plus 5 into log 10 is 1 so the value comes 5 into 1 is 5 minus log of 1.8 is 0.26 so if you uh, solve this 5 minus 0.26 it comes 4.74 this is the pka value of acetic acid 
So now I have the pKa value of acetic acid. I can put it here. 4.74 minus half log C. Now the concentration is 0.1 normal. So I will put log 0.1. Now log 0.1 is minus 1. So if we solve it, it becomes 2.37 minus half minus 1 into minus 1. It becomes plus half means plus 0.5 and the value comes 2.87. This is the pH before the titration begins for a weak acid strong base. If you are remembering the curve of strong acid strong base, it started from zero because there it was a strong acid with one normal concentration. But here the concentration is 0 0.1 and the graph will start from 2.87 somewhere here. Okay, so this is the point before the titration begins. Now let's discuss ki what are the pH changes during the titration. So, when I am talking about during the titration, what will happen is, see here, I am having CH3COOH, means acetic acid in the conical flask. As soon as the NOH comes down, it will react with it to give CH3COONA plus water. Now, if you look at the system carefully, you will observe that weak acid is reacting with a strong base. And forming a salt of weak acid with a strong base. So, whenever there is acetic acid in presence of sodium acetate, it constitutes acidic buffer system. And whenever we want to calculate the pH of any buffer system, we would go with henderson hasselbalch equation and we will use pH is equal to pKa plus log concentration of salt upon a concentration of acid. So, henderson hasselbalch equation which is used to derive the pH of buffer system can help us here. So, during the titration, whenever you are adding any moisture from the bure in the conical flask where there is weak acid, it is giving rise to acidic buffer system. So, what we will need, uh, we will calculate the values. Now pH we want to calculate, pKa we already know it is 4.74 and now we will uh, need the concentration of salt and acid. So we will find out. So for first ml addition, for 1 ml addition of NaOH in the acetic acid, we will calculate the concentration of acid as well as the concentration of salt. Okay. So acid will be, there will be 101 ml of total volume. And remember acid plus 1 ml NaOH and out of that acid will be only 99 ml. Now here we have to consider the concentration. If it would have one normal I wouldn't have used it but it is 0.1 so we have to consider it. So this is the concentration of acid. Similarly for 1 ml of NaOH added one equivalent of salt must be formed. So, the concentration of salt can be calculated using formula 1 upon 101 into 0.1. Okay. So, if we solve this, I have already calculated the values. If we solve this, this value comes 0.098 and this value comes 0.009. So, we have the concentration of salt, we have the concentration of acid. Just put the values here, take log. PK value, we already know 4.74 and find out the pH. Similarly, for 50 ml if we want to calculate, then how we will calculate the concentration of acid? Now 50 ml of NaOH must have come down. So the total volume is 150. 50 ml acid is being neutralized. So what is remaining acid? It is 50 ml into 0.1. Similarly, for concentration of salt, we can take 150 is the total volume. 50 ml acid is reacted to produce 50 ml of salt. So both of them have same concentration. So if I put the values here, if the values are same, log 1 will be 0. So automatically the pH of the titration when there is 50 ml addition of NaOH will be equal to its pKa. And it is 4.74. For 50 ml of addition, the pH will be 4.74. You can take several points like this and you will come to a conclusion that, okay, the graph is growing very gradually. Okay. 
So this is for during the digestion. Now what will happen at equivalence point? See, uh, what is the case with strong acid, strong base? HCl is completely neutralized by NaOH to give NaCl and water. So the pH at equivalence point was 7. But here what is happening? Here acetic acid is reacting with a strong base. And at the equivalence point when all the acetic acid is neutralized by NaOH, your sodium acetate is there. Huh? And being a salt of strong base, it will give you slightly basic value at the equivalence point. So how, what is the pH at equivalence point we have to calculate particularly. So for that, I am giving you a formula which can be used to calculate the value of pH at equivalence point. The equation is pH is equal to half pKW plus half pKa plus half log C. This equation can give you pH at equivalence point. So we will put the values half. pKW we know ionic product of water kind of thing. So it is 14 plus half pKa again we know 4.74 plus half log concentration is 0.1 normal. So 0.1. So it comes 7 plus 2.37 plus half log 1 is minus 1. So plus half into minus 1 it becomes 0.5 minus. So it comes um, 9.37 minus 0.5. So it comes 8.87. If I'm not wrong. Yes. 8.87. So as you can see, the pH at equivalence point is not 7, hmm? it is 8.87, it is slightly on a basic side. So we will try to plot the graph at 100 ml addition, the pH is 8.87 and below that it rises very slowly. Okay, it starts somewhere here. Between 2 to 3, 2.87, we have seen the point. Huh? So it goes like this. Then, after the equivalence point, when you are adding NaOH as excess titrant, then immediately again the pH value will go up and afterwards it will go gradually horizontal. So, the graph is very similar to strong acid, strong base titration, but here the graph will not start from 0. The graph will start from 2, 2 or 3 somewhere and then it will go gradually. Then at the equivalence point it will show an abrupt change and after the equivalence point again it will go gradually. So if you can find out the middle point of the straight portion it will give you the pH at equivalence point. So for weak acid strong base titration we have used several formulas like for calculation of H plus ions before titration begins we can use the formula concentration of H plus is equal to under root KAC then during the titration we have calculated the pH of the solution using Henderson Hasselbach equation because it is a buffer system so the formula is pH is equal to pKa plus log concentration of salt upon concentration of acid again at equivalence point we have used the equation pH is equal to half pKW plus half pKa plus half log C. And then after the equivalence point, the excess of titrant will determine the concentration of H plus ion. Actually, it gives concentration of OH minus which you will convert to concentration of H plus ions and will calculate the pH from it. And the graph will resemble the strong acid strong base titration curve. It is S-shaped curve with abrupt change in between and the straight portion of the graph if you take the middle point of it it will give you the pH at equivalence point so this is about weak acid strong base titration of acetic acid versus NaOH and we have discussed the neutralization curve I hope you have understood it so thank you so much for watching keep watching keep sharing keep loving bye